Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use a one variable data table in Excel. Here I have some data to calculate the monthly payment for a loan. I have the loan amount, I have the interest rate and the number of monthly payments. And using this data I can calculate the monthly payment that needs to be done. And so I would use the PMT function. This function takes the rate which is 6% here so I would take 6% but since I'm making monthly payments I would convert this into a monthly interest rate by dividing it by 12. The number of periods here are 60 months or 5 years and the present value here is $100,000. When I use these three arguments and I press Control enter this gives me $1,933.28 since this is an outflow this is in red and in uh, in round brackets now if the intention is to identify what would be the monthly payment uh, the number of monthly payments so that the monthly payment is less than thousand dollars or close to thousand dollars now I can use a trial and error method by changing the number of monthly payments here maybe I would make it six years and then I see that this is going down this is reducing so I make it say 100 months and I see that this is going down so I can continue to do this when I have uh, the perfect value that I want the other way is using the data table where you can do this instantly for a lot of values so in this case let me change this back to 60 months and I would type these months here so I would want to check the monthly payment value for 72 months and then going forward 84 months so I'm incrementing it by 12 months and let me drag this so that I would go up to 240 months which is 20 years now I if you want to use a one variable data table you would have to use a construct to calculate this and the construct is that if you have it arranged in a column then you would have to put this value the monthly payment value here and you should not manually type it this should be linked to either this cell or you can directly use the PMT function here the idea is that this value should be dependent on the value that you are changing which is number of monthly payments so since I'm changing the number of monthly payments here this value should be dependent on these numbers and now I can use the data table I would simply select all of this I would go to data here I would go to what if analysis and here I have the data table option when I click on it it opens the data table dialog box where I have the row input cell and column input cell now data table was made to work with one or two variable data tables. so in this case since there is only one uh, variable data table I would use only one of these since my data is arranged in a column I would use the column input cell and I would refer it to this value which is changing in this formula which is the 60 months and I want to change these months and see how this value changes so I would refer it back to this value and when I click OK you can see that it has calculated all these values since this is an outflow these are all negative and I can instantly spot that if I want to have my monthly payment at less than thousand dollars I should opt for 144 months or 12 years similarly you can do all the analysis you can choose whether you want it to be less than eight hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars you do not have to go and do the trial and error method by putting these values again and again here you would have all these values here now a couple of things that you need to note here is that you cannot press Control Z and go back if I try and do that nothing would happen you cannot undo this and if you select any of these cells and look at the formula bar you would see that it is an array if I leave it you can see that there are curly brackets around it so you cannot delete any one or two of these values you would have to either delete the entire column you cannot delete it if you try and delete it it will give you this prompt cannot change part of a data table so you cannot do that now in this case I arranged this data in a column but you can also do this by arranging this data in a row let me show you how to do this I would delete this entire thing and I would copy this and paste it here so I would use the transpose option in paste special and I would hit okay now you can see that I have these values in a row let me make the column width a bit less so that we can all see it 
so now it's visible on the screen again the similar construct needs to be followed let me clear this part first clear all here you would put the value the linked cell value here in the row which is below it on the left so here I would put equal to B4 so that my value here is linked to it and now I can again use the same construct I would select this entire data go to data here what if analysis data table and here instead of using column input cell I would use row input cell because my data is arranged in a row and again I would simply refer to this cell which is the number of monthly payments and I would click OK and as soon as I do this you can see that I have this entire data here again uh, less than thousand dollars is what you want and you have it in 144 months which is 12 years so this is how you can use one variable data table in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day